Welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm here today with a pick a card reading for you. So take a moment to center yourself, take a deep breath, because we are going to connect with spirit today and there may be messages waiting from your spirit team. I would like to welcome back my beautiful returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here and for anybody who has stumbled across my channel for the very first time, we welcome you here. We would love to have you join our beautiful soul family by subscribing to the channel. Today, we are asking the question of spirit. Will you ever see the person on your mind again? And what to expect if you do? So what can you expect in the future of this connection? Will you ever see this person again? Um, if you do enjoy this content and want us to continue in this journey with us, don't forget to hit your subscribe button. Share this video with your friends. Your support means the world to me here. And as a special thank you, I do offer a chance to win a free tarot reading. And all you have to do is drop your comment below for your chance to win. Be sure to hit your notification bell so that I can notify you and we can get the ball rolling as well. And that's open to all of my subscribers. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and then drop your comments below. A big congratulations to this month's winners. Um, I will be drawing another name this week. So be sure to include your comments below as well over any other my readings this month it doesn't have to be this reading it can be whatever reading you feel called to now we do have pile number one here with the yellow flower pile number two with the burgundy flower pile number three with the pink flower and this is coming from the entanglement um, oracle deck and there is a link below um, for a special discount code for shipping that has been offered by the creator of this deck so you could just check out that link below if you are curious about this deck it's a beautiful deck it's very colorful I've really enjoyed using it here on my channel so be sure to check out that link below as well but pile number one pile number two pile number three again today's topic is all about a person on your mind are you ever going to see this person again will you ever cross paths again and what can you expect out of that moment out of that exchange Pile one, pile two, pile three. I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Hello, pile number one. You were drawn to the yellow flower. You were also drawn to this card. It says, our situation paralyzes me. And this is your reading. The person on your mind, are you ever going to cross paths with them again? So you can tell here that there's like a lot of perhaps heartbreak or missed opportunity, some disappointment in the very least when it comes to this situation. And this could be filling us with doubt or fear about whether or not we're going to be able to have a resolution, whether or not there's going to be any type of closure that comes in this situation. You could feel paralyzed. They could also be in the same boat and they could be feeling pretty paralyzed as well. But let's take a look here for pile number one, please. Are they ever going to see the person on their mind again? We have the hanged man coming out for you first. Oh, here is the four of cups. I feel like it is a very paralyzing situation because you're feeling ignored. They could be feeling overlooked in the present moment. I feel like there's a very strong um, investment here when it comes to the Divine Feminine. They're really showing us a lot here with the spread that's fallen out into my hands. And there's been a lot that has not been said between the two of you. Uh, and a lot of time perhaps has passed as well where we feel like, I can, like I've made my bed now. Is there anything that I can do to create change in the situation? And they could be paralyzed because they don't realize it's mutual and that you are also feeling very stuck on the situation. Um, but it's like they're afraid to come forward in the present moment. Even though they have so much to say, you can see that the Knight of Swords is sticking the sword down his throat. And that's the reality, that's the truth. And although perhaps there could be a feeling of, I should move forward, there's still this one light that's still, even though they're closing the coffin, there's something that stings about the situation because the burn is still here. The inspiration is still here. Spirit is really giving us an insight as to what is going on emotionally and what you're feeling, what you're experiencing in this situation. And you've been waiting for contact or waiting for an opportunity. And again, maybe you've been waiting for a really long time. There's an emphasis on commitment cycles with the Divine Feminine being dressed as a bride. We have the Hierophant. And I also feel like there's a question for someone who's watching, a question on their mind about what do I do if I do see them again? Because it's almost, there's a feeling of be careful what you wish for because what if it actually comes true? What if you saw them again tomorrow? Would you be prepared to see them again tomorrow? Because there could be things that are getting in the way. Um, this could be like wondering about opening up a can of worms that we don't know if we can close it up again. Because spirit really wants to know 
if you're ready to see them again. <laughs> what would happen if you did see them again? We do have the chariot. Back of deck is the ten of cups. And there's the eight of pentacles. I'm going to clarify as I go forward here. Go pile number one, please. <clears throat> Can we clarify the hanged man, the queen of wands? And I just heard that compassion might be the chosen tool here to create change in the situation because spirit says that we may have to change our approach when it comes to communication, when it comes to an opportunity in this situation. I feel like for someone watching, there's a lot to lose. And that's why spirit brought forward that question of, you know, if you did see them tomorrow, if you, they did cross your path, what obstacles would need to be cleared out? Is there room for more in this connection? Or are all you looking for is closure? We have the fool and we have the, the sun coming out. You'll notice that within the sun, someone's riding a chicken, which is very telling towards somebody's, um, how ready they feel or how capable they feel of taking that leap of faith. We have the death. Again, a reference. Two very different decks. That's what I love about tarot. Two very different decks, both showing the the time piece, both showing that time, you know, is waning. Time has passed. And I'm, I'm hearing that song by Chantel Kraviazak that says, Time, where did you go? Why did you leave me here alone? We have the Page of Swords and we have the Emperor. And I will say this, lots of Taurus energy, lots of Aries energy coming through, Cancer energy. Leo, Virgo, but they're watching you. They're watching you. And I'm hearing school days, like they're singing happy days for me, but they're adding school as well. So you could have gone to school with this person. Um, this person is watching you and they realize that they have to increase their efforts if they want to achieve something, even if it's clarity in the situation, but they are taking their sweet time. And they are referencing the tower. They're referencing the lightning bolt as well. Here is the page of pentacles. And we have the beautiful empress energy here with the six of wands. Spirit doesn't want you to wane in your confidence here. They say confidence will be the key to success. And I do feel like there's going to be in the very least communication. Somebody is going to pop up with communication in the future of this situation. But I feel like that sort of throws us into a period of a period of disarray, to be honest with you, because it feels like we have the opportunity to speak and that opens up a big doorway, which has the potential to open up a can of worms. Spirit says you're going to get a positive result in reconnection, but they want to know what are you going to do with that opportunity, with that doorway once it opens up. We have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Hanged Man. Uh, for someone watching, as I said, there's like a compromise that's needed or an inability to commit because maybe we're already in commitment cycles. So that will test where your commitments lie and where your loyalties lie in this moment. And although there's been a time delay, Spirit says it's only a matter of time before fate plays a role in communication opening up again, an opportunity to open up. And they're referencing like being 17 years old or the age 17, like they're just referencing youth and a period of time. It's like I want to maybe return to that period of time or return to youth. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of conversations about the past and about our, our childhood or about our coming of age. There's going to be a conversation that happens between the two of you, Pal One. And I feel like commitment commitments might be tested here. I do feel like there could be still a more a delay that's coming in or that you can expect because there's a lot of fear of taking a risk outside my comfort zone. You may also be feeling that risk because you may also be encouraged to change your direction or change your approach in this situation. You may be the one that reaches out to this person. But the truth is, is that I am getting an overall message that the divine masculine is going to increase their efforts and come forward with information. This is one side of the key. It's like there's two keys that belong in that hierophant door. They hold one key, you hold the other. So they are going to come forward with communication, which, which opens up the possibilities of something being unlocked but they are indicating that we're going to be emotionally pulled in different directions at that time. So you're, it's like you're going to have choices and decisions to make. 
And with this card that you were drawn to, the situation that paralyzes us, that could still be a scenario that presents itself to you in the future. It could still feel like an opportunity where you feel paralyzed with what you can do. But I also feel like it's good news for you to know that clarity is coming in, that you have not been forgotten, because that could also be a concern on your mind in this moment of, you know, have I been forgotten? Do they even remember me? Are, am I an influence to them the way that they are to me? And I do feel like it's very mutual. But I also feel like there's some work to be done when the reunion comes. Because the reunions are in the forecast, but there's also the Eight of Swords, the Tower Energy, and the Emperor. So if you're in a commitment, they could also be in a commitment, for instance. I feel like this person has a lot to get off of their chest and a lot to say. We have here the Finch and the Peach, Romance. News is on the way. That bird looks like it's about to take flight. So you won't be just bumping into this person. This reunion is going to be precipitated by communication. We have the mouse and the buttercup, innocence. And if this was an innocent connection in the past, that could be what is... Um, that could be where the questions lie. If this never moved into a full-fledged relationship, if we weren't able to define it as such, um, there is um, an innocence here that perhaps wants to be a little bit broken. But they're also highlighting the mouse, which is for me is like a creature that doesn't like to have the light shone on it. It's like it wants to hide. It's a fight-or-flight animal. And there's a reference of like freeing yourself of guilt when that comes in. But we have the weasel and the pine introspection. And that's where that message again repeats itself of be careful what you wish for because it just might come into fruition sooner than you think. And are you ready for it if it does? Back of the deck says the beaver and the birch home. And they're speaking about a very family oriented creature. They are referencing the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups as well. So that could be part of what paralyzes progress moving forward. Um, is, is relationship cycles, <clears throat> commitment cycles as well. So they're just anticipating that you may experience some obstacles despite the progress that you're going to see in this situation. It's only a matter of time. We have going with the flow, meandering flow. And they're showing me Gandalf when he says, you shall not pass. So although there is going to be some type of resolution, there's still going to be the requirement for us to push through the obstacles. It's like they're talking about the hermit and having to take careful, calculated steps towards our goals. We have the Wizard of the Woods now, Focus. These two characters almost really look alike to me. <laughs> the Wizard of the Woods, Focus. And they're talking about focusing upon what you want with unwavering faith. But also applying direct focus upon what you actually want in this situation to communicate that clearly to the universe. Back of the deck says Stag Spirit Leadership. Again, I do feel like, um, because I'm reading for the collective, I do have multiple energies that do come in at the same time. For the majority of the collective, I do feel the Divine Masculine taking the effort here. Um, but for a smaller proportion of you, there could be you deciding to be compassionate upon the situation and you taking the lead and taking charge here to create the beginnings of this communication, which could lead to the reunion energy. Because reunions are in the forecast for you. Advice, please. A note on love. Seeking different seasons and entering into the unknown. But when love is the focus, foundation, and goal, blessed is the body, mind, and soul. This may trigger a shift and change in love. This could trigger seeking different seasons in your, in your love life as well. The art of life. There is no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. So be bold in your skin and let love dance in sight. So if you feel like you are living in a situation, if you're feeling invisible, if you're feeling overlooked, that could be what triggers boldness for the divine feminine. And that could perhaps amplify or make quicker work out of what needs to be done. If you're waiting for the divine masculine to take on the challenge, you may be waiting a little bit longer for the outcome of the connection to reconnect um, because they're going to 
they need to, to make adjustment. They are taking their time in this moment. So you feeling overlooked, you feeling frustrated could be sort of the light that charges you up to take more action here and to be bold in your own skin. Let's get a couple of message cards here to see what sort of thought this person has had about reunions and about this connection. What sort of thoughts has Pow One's person had about reunions in this connection? This scares me. Like the cause and effect of this action, the cause and effect of my truth scares me. I feel like they're afraid of rejection if they do express how they feel. You are my everything. And they want to make apologies. They want to come forward with apologies about this situation and about things that were said. If you guys had conf conflict in words or something when you separated, we have, I meant what I said, but this is like the five of swords. It's like, I mean, I'm protecting myself. This is a situation that does scare me because I have a lot to lose. I dream about you a lot, probably more than I'm allowed or probably too much. I wonder if I've lost everything. And this is rumination. This is somebody who is going over and over events in their mind, kind of torturing themselves with, and perhaps again, losing sleep because of dreams. It says maybe looking to the light for answers and they are already considering in this moment, the possibilities of more. Let's get a few more cards here. I just want space and it was the space that created the Ace of Swords. It was the time away from you. It was the absence that made the heart grow fonder and actually brought in a bit of an epiphany that was a little bit painful about initiating. I sometimes wonder if you if you care about me at all. And back the deck says, I do need time for me. Ace of Cups reversed. They're a little bit stressed out and they're very disappointed with their actions in the past, or maybe even a lack of actions towards you in the past as well, Pile One. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for Pile Number One. The very last thought this person had about reconnection in the bowl. Five of Pentacles. They miss your friendship more than anything. I feel like this was a friendship. It could have been a very strong flirtatious friendship and it should have evolved and it didn't evolve. Um, at least not to where they wanted it to, to go. They feel like they waited and now they're really regretting that delay. They're really regretting that wait. But they're sort of applying the same waiting energy in the present that they did in the past. So they really were thinking about missing their friendship with you longing to reunite with you and really nostalgic about time spent laugh, laughing with you, having fun with you too. They do feel or wonder if the two of you are anchored in the same practical situation right now. So you could both be very mirrored in what you've invested in in life. Relationships, family, for instance. We have the why. We have why you and I. It's like you're both asking that question. Double-edged razor here. We have from, and there's like a feel, reference of like, do I know you from somewhere? We have crystal clear intentions. And they're also speaking here about, again, somebody who's dreaming about you, somebody who feels like they have to repair things, especially coming from the divine masculine's energy. They've had certain awakenings. They've had certain light that has come in when it comes to this connection and actions they should have taken. But I also just heard Jake the snake. So they could be worried about temptation as well. Pile one, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. Praying for you. Please drop your comments below for your chance to win a reading with me. Be sure to hit your notification bell and your like button. And I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope that you have a beautiful day. Hello, pile number two. You were drawn to the burgundy flower. You're also drawn to the card, I should have taken the chance. And this is your reading. Are you ever going to see the person on your mind again? And what can you expect if you do? Now you can see it's like a gamble here. Um, a feeling of almost like Russian roulette. It says, I should have taken the chance when it comes to you. They are now regretting the fact that they didn't take a chance. This could also be your energy coming through as well. It could definitely be reversed. We're going to use the Light Sears Tarot for you to begin. What is happening in this connection? Will you ever see this person again? And what can you expect in the future? A lot of shoulda, coulda, woulda coming through here. A lot of hesitation in the past. 
Eight of Swords starting out your reading. Will you ever see this person again? We have Justice. And, and justice always prevails in a lot of ways and, and always justice will prevail. What we put into a situation, we reap the benefits of. So their regret, they are kind of receiving some type of karma about their lack of effort in the situation, which is not, it's not, it's not that we can't adjust it again. We absolutely can. The awareness is what's important. And what we do with it, we have the queen of swords. They really thought that, and this is an impression that they had, they don't, you don't have to actually feel this way, but this is just their projection of how they feel about themselves and they're projecting it onto you. But they felt like they were not good enough. They felt like they had to prove themselves to be good enough or work on themselves to be, to be better. It's like they just didn't think that they were good enough for you. That they didn't reach your standards. They, And I feel, feel like they were worried about... Uh, they're actually worried about how intelligent you are versus what they would consider themselves to be intelligent. Like they're just, and I don't think they recognize the insecurity that you hold. Um, I think that the way that they kind of put you up on a pedestal, they didn't see that you felt equally insecure. Um, they internalized it as, you know, they're not taking action because I'm not good enough for them. We have the world. I'm sorry, the Empress looks like the world. We also have the Ace of Cups. Back of the deck is the Queen of Wands, and we have the Six of Wands coming through as well. Six of Wands. Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. And I, yeah, I feel like the two of you were very equally yoked when it comes to taking a chance, when it comes to the desire. You could also be in very equal positions in the present moment as well. King and Queen of Pentacles. There's a lot of growth here. I feel like physically the two of you would look amazing together. Like there's just something about the two of you matching each other equally, but also matching each other equally in a lot of different ways. You could even both be Libras. You could both be Earth signs. You could both be in relationships at this time. There is like motherhood and fatherhood energies that can be attached to the Queen and King of Pentacles. So there could just be a lot of like balance that we're trying to maintain for ourselves in the practical, which makes it feel even risky today to take the chance. And they're also giving this reference to the Divine Feminine, wondering if she lowered her standards from the past to now, like maybe because of what we've invested in. We have here the Judgment. I know these cards, are they're very illuminated. They're very hard to see on camera, but they are very beautiful from the Fortuna deck here. We have the Three of Cups. There's been a huge reference here to um, Pile 2, even in Pile 1. Like, there's a reference to reunions and friendship and how they're comparing you to everybody. Like, you can see the pillow here, the, the dove of peace that gets kind of drowned out by all of these crows that are squawking. Like, there's just all of these thoughts about what I said or what I should have said in this friendship. They've actually gone over the narrative in their mind about what they want to say to you in reference to this relationship. Because if it was a friendship, it should have been more. And they, they to this day, feel like there could have been more in the situation. Here's the two of wands. Here's the four of wands. With the five of wands. Uh, Spirit says there is going to be more communication. There's going to be a reunion here. Confidence will be the key to all success and confidence will be necessary in order for us to actually take a risk or a chance when this opportunity opens up. They say you're going to make plans to meet. They're talking about the internet popping in <clears throat> and it's not just closure. It's like a new emotional opportunity. In the very least, it's that speaking from our heart. There's plans and there's a back and forth banter that happens. I do feel like the two of you could enter into an online flirtation cycle where you're really talking back and forth, texting back and forth. 
and plans get made. However, what you can also expect here too is having to tap into that confidence again to take a risk. Um, you could be risking your heart, you could be risking something practical, but there's going to be plans that get made. Now, whether or not we follow through with those plans, and that's what I'm gonna ask Spirit right now, we're going to be making plans to meet. Will they follow through with these plans? Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, contingent on that confidence. Even after the communication begins online, Spirit says we're going to delay actually physically upgrading the situation by meeting. You're, I feel like you're going to wait. There's the Queen of Wands and there's the Tower energy. Because there's a reference of like, this is a risk. And if I do take this chance, I can't go back if I do. It sort of sets a precedent. It kind of draws a line in the sand. I can't go back after I do. So after the communication starts, the banter begins between the two of you. Plans will be made. Some plans might fall through. And I don't, I think that that will be intentional. I think that we're going to delay to actually formulate a plan to meet up. Because there's this reference too to really breaking down our old investments and comparing them to what could be invested in the future. When we see the Seven of Pentacles, especially in a side position like that, they're referencing pulling out everything, weeding, weeding the garden. But honestly, curiosity killed the cat here. I feel like curiosity won't be able to keep you apart in some way once that opens up. And I'm hearing that song. It's from a Celine Dion song. I don't know exactly the, the name of the song, but I'm hearing one of the lyrics that says, you set my heart on fire, gave me love. And it's just referencing, um, I almost heard made me woman and stars above. So there's, there's a reference here to like the curiosity, the empowerment that the divine feminine feels because it boosts her confidence in the risk that you should have taken. And just even the back and forth banter, it sort of eradicates the fear that you had in that risk that you didn't take in the past. It may extrapolate the fear or the risk that you're taking now, but it kind of, it boosts your confidence. It makes you feel more abundant about the risk that you didn't take in the past. Here's the nine of pentacles. There's the Ten of Swords. I will say something practical or a position could get in the way of momentum here. This could cause somebody watching, and not everyone, but cause somebody watching to walk away from a commitment cycle potentially too, or that will be um, available to us or something we have to consider. Because they are saying that new beginnings could be on the forefront of the future of this situation but sometimes death requires a sacrifice it's like it requires an ending to bring in a new beginning so your guides are just saying look on the horizon new relationships could form in the future of this situation passages walking through the passages of your transformation four of wands you will talk to this person again. You're going to make plans to see this person again. We do have generosity, the maple spirit. And I'm thinking of maple syrup for some reason. <laughs> um, back of deck. We also have power. Justice, 11. Libra being a theme here. We do have justice in your reading as well. And the cause effect of our action. Keeping things in balance. Really having to tap into our power to bring forward the truth. But there is going to be um, enlightenment. There's also going to be obstacles, but the ability to perhaps transcend the obstacles if we look for some solutions. Thanks for pile number two, please. We have here the moth and the eucalyptus, and it says an ending, highlighting the death energy that we just saw. Now this moth looks like it has a wasp end, and they're talking about things that sting, being drawn together, like a magnet it's like we can't we can't stay away or we feel drawn together um, but it does speak about the danger of the moth to the flame so it could bring it forward an ending that brings in new beginnings could test the devotion we've had in something that we have created for ourselves they're showing me the caiman on the back of the deck the alligator it talks about dreams coming into fruition and perhaps this dream will require us to pass the torch forward to um to a new realm from one realm to a new realm now let's get some message cards to see what sort of thoughts this person has had about 
seeing you again, what sort of thoughts and feelings has the person on Pal Two's mind had about seeing Pal Two again? I was so unfair to you. And it feels like it's not fair that they still hold on to these intense feelings and they feel like there are obstacles in the way. I'm exactly where you left me. No clarity, no closure, with so much more that I have to say. I'm trying to get over my fears. Because they want closure. At least they're telling themselves that. It's like they want to apologize to you for not taking action. I'm not ready to share. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. King of Pentacles is sometimes in a commitment cycle or in charge. I listened to every word you said, but they go over that in their mind. All the conversations, all the moments where you could have clarified things, they go over what they said, they kick themselves. I have been hurt so many times before. They are concerned about their home. And they're speaking about a distance, a physical distance between the two of you as well. I've kept so much of myself hidden from you. And I want to get back what we had, the Six of Cups. An intense connection that sometimes defies a little bit of logic. You deserve someone better than me. And they do think that you're out of their league. They do. They did feel that in the past, like you were too good for them. But I am so tired of holding back. And I know that you feel the same is on the back of that deck. Very intense feelings. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number two. Whoopsie daisy. The last thought that they've had about pile number two in the bowl, please. The most recent thought, judgment. Whoops, it's out of the bowl. Hierophant reverse, seven of cups. Lots of confusion, lots of fantasy in this last thought. So they may have been fantasizing about you. They are, they were thinking about the lack of progress between the two of you, the lack of clarity between the two of you as well. And it's like they were having a conversation with themselves in this fantasy about correcting that. In the bowl today, we have the S, A, and O for initials. We have live. It's kind of in the reversal here. And I heard live the life you love, but they may not be doing that in this moment. We also have the umbrella. It's reversed as well. And the umbrella's purpose is to keep the rain off or to keep the sun off if it's a parasol. In this case, it's not doing either of those things because it's kind of just filling up with perhaps regret. We have the yin yang. We have a wrench in our plans when it comes to music. So sometimes music, there could be a song associated with your name, or there could be a song of nostalgia that really they apply to this connection. Um, songs have the ability to both empower us and also strike, you know, pain and fear and loss into our hearts. You were also drawn to the jukebox. So there's like a real, really strong reference to music here. All right, pile two, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. Drop your comment below for your chance to win a free reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading, and that link is below as well. And I just hope that you come back here for a visit at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number three. You are drawn to the pink flower. You're also drawn here to the I haven't forgotten what we shared, the dream catcher card. So there is a reference here to dreaming of you, um, fantasies surrounding the situation, and lots of nostalgia in this in this connection as well having time as well to perhaps see things from a higher perspective and with the heart and the keyhole perhaps having a lot more to say too so this is a lot of inspiration or a lot of influence that they could still be experiencing because of of the energy and the impression left behind so let's take a look and see will you ever see this person again what's currently happening in their emotions in this connection what can you expect in the future we have the ten of swords coming out first We have the Queen of Swords.
We've got a lot going on here. We have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Coins, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. I do feel like these are important, so we're going to just kind of pull them out. Five of Swords. This person doesn't want to create, they don't want to create conflict for you or for themselves. They wonder if coming forward will create a lot of drama in this situation. And that's their way of trying to temper or minimize the desire to reach out or the desire to create change. It's like they're trying to have a compromise and they feel like they're doing it for you. Again, some of it's self-serving as well. We have the Ace of Wands. They're really highlighting Sagittarius energy for me right this moment. We have the Five of Coins and the Eight of Swords. And there's a lot of stuck energy here, I have to admit, for you, Pal Three. Um, maybe a very long standing separation. Uh, people who feel very stuck in the situation. And like the Dream Catcher, like there's a reference to the spider web. And there's a reference here to weaving a destiny. It's like I've. I've I've made a bed for myself in this connection or in life in general, and I feel stuck in that bed that I've made in this moment. And you represent a dream perhaps that has slipped through my fingers in the present moment. You're representing a dream that they still have even in separation. I feel like it could be a very mutual dream. There's these two dragons coming through, Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords. They feel like they didn't say everything they wanted to say. And they could be jumping to conclusions about creating that drama. Because there's a feeling about, they wonder if you even have the ability to meet them halfway. They wonder about your commitment cycles. Um, they wonder if you even care at all. Because sometimes they convince themselves that you've washed them out of their hair. I almost feel like something somebody in the past was blocked for someone watching. It's like we've limited contact. We've drawn our energy backwards. So they don't know if it's even possible. And knowing and faith play such a critical role in our, the actions that we take. Because if we think something's not possible, why do we even bother? Would we even bother to try? And that's what's really capitalizing or pulling at their strength right now with the Ten of Swords being supported by the strength. The Ten of Swords is helplessness. It's depletion. It's obsessive thought. So not only does this person still think about you, they obsessively think about the situation. They're very mindful of what did not take place. And they try to be really mindful of like respect. They're trying to respect boundaries in the present moment. They're trying to respect you and your position. They could be privy to it. Perhaps they know what your position looks like. They could just be making the assumption that of course you've moved on. Of course you're in a position where you want to claim your independence. Of course you don't care about me anymore. These are just, again, being being influenced by the ego because the Five of Swords is here trying to have their piece of the pie. You can see that the pie here looks like the rainbow spectrum, the full spectrum. And the ego's job is to keep us from that full spectrum because that empowers us. Five of Wands, Five of Wands. They have a willingness to fight for it is what I'm hearing. And again, they don't realize that actually luck is on their side when it comes to your thirst for them too. They don't, they're not acknowledging that in this moment. But I just heard, follow your nose. They're referencing this toucan. They just had toucan Sam. So Sam could be an important name for you as well. That's not for everyone, of course. I am reading for the collective. So please take the messages as they resonate and leave behind those that don't feel right to you. They carry the weight of the unknown so much that it stops them from doing the work that they need to do. Because they keep dreaming and they're keeping, they keep being inspired by this situation. And even though you don't mean to, there's still a trigger here. They're highlighting this tower. They're highlighting the torts on the top and like kind of taking a shot and hiding in behind. They do still get inspired to create closure or clarity in the situation. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Back of the deck is the Four of Cups and the Eight of Wands. There is a strong momentum 
happening, a strong pressure that they're feeling to reach out. But sometimes, again, because they're in depletion, they sometimes ignore that. They sometimes ignore that. And so Spirit says in this case, because we're both kind of up against these blockades, we're at this crossroads where we're being asked to do the work and not just put it on the shelf for later, because that's what this person's doing. Um, they're putting it on the shelf for later. Spirit says you might be putting it on the shelf for later. And they're just using this time to come up with all sorts of reasons why they shouldn't. Reasons why now is not the, the right time. And they're encompassing you and your thoughts and your experiences in that too, even though they don't actually have the clarity over your situation right now. And that's prohibiting them from being able to take this inspiration and put it into action. They're letting distractions take hold. So in this case, this is like a classic, nothing changes if nothing changes. And if we want to have this turn of events in our favor come around, we might have to either apply more pressure. Um, somebody has to break free from the restrictions. Somebody has to break free from the fear of being rejected, our prison of our own making. So although we have inspiration towards change, I don't actually see that peace coming in. I don't see the reunion forming because we're both stuck behind this blockade. And when I think of the fives, the sixes for me, I always say are very collaborative. You know, when we see, even see the cards for the sixes, and I don't have an example here to show you, there's usually multiple people in those cards. It, it really speaks of, you know, the collaboration that we're in. But when we're in the fives, that's the hurdle behind the hierophant. We have to push through that ourselves. Even if it's the same hurdle as our partner next to us, we still have to push through. And that's the issue here is that this situation triggers us, but we do have a sense of holding back and letting the distractions come in. Letting it distract us from actually being able to go towards the reunions that we're looking for in the situation. So I do feel like in this case, um, reunions are not assured to us. They continue to be an inspiration, but there are challenges to overcome. And part of the challenges is getting rid of those distractions, bringing love into the situation, the wild rose fairy. And the wild rose has a special significance because they just referenced again, following your nose, the wild rose is very fragrant. And they're saying, follow that inspiration to see where it leads you. Live wild and free. The fairy is a symbol for me of wishful thinking. And so they may have this wishful thinking associated with the dream, but dreams are only dreams and wishes are only that until we turn them into goals. And in this case, Spirit says, if we want the reunion, one or both of you has to turn that into the goal. Stepping into power, we had this card in pile number two as well. And the empowerment of 11 is like the justice. We reap what we sow. Truth can set us free. So we have the air, spirit, knowledge. They are referencing the queen of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They're just referencing as well the queen's ability to take on a leadership role if she feels like other people aren't able or aren't up to the task. You can see that this woman is riding a boat that looks like a swan. And the swan for me is the queen of swords and taking on that discernment, that leadership role and sort of rising above our own obstacles to create clarity for ourselves, because turning knowledge into wisdom here. We have the freedom of the eagle spirit, freedom of choice. Spirit's never going to force us into this path to create momentum here. They're just pre presenting us with the obstacles, with the roadmap so that we can decide which path we want to take. We have here the honeybee it says productivity and there's all of these pomegranates. The pomegranates for me are a symbol of, of temptation and the honeybee says what needs to be sacrificed in order for our sweet results to come in. It's a worker bee. They're referencing the work with the, with the beaver. I just saw the weasel as well. So going down that rabbit hole of thirst. This card came out in, I believe, pile one or two as well. It says romance, the finch and the peach, and a news on the way that wants to come in. But you can see like there's this center of the peach breaking things open, taking a bite out of change. And we have the snail, trust in the invisible. This situation is calling for us to have faith, faith in each other and faith in the connection. You can also see that the snail goes at a very slow pace. 
So there could have been longevity in this in this disconnect. You could experience more longevity in the disconnect um, to follow until somebody decides to take take further action here. And there's that beaver, the beaver and the birch, productivity, the home. The, the beaver is a very family-oriented creature. So that could also be a factor that's playing a role for someone watching and that's that doesn't have to be the case for everyone but there could be family issues commitment cycles that are getting in the way um, but that this connection acts as a temptation so i'm going to get some message cards to see what sort of thoughts this person has had about disconnect with you pile number three and about reunions what sort of thoughts have they had about pile three about reunions I don't know how to express this love to you, so I just keep it inside. I really hate not communicating with you as much as I do that I want to. What sort of thoughts are they having about reunions, please? I've been having dreams of you, dream catcher. I haven't forgotten what we've shared. I've been receiving telepathic messages through my dreams. So if you've been dreaming about this person, they're saying that it's very um, double-sided, double-ended here. It's like a ping pong table. I regret walking away from you and this connection. I've been keeping a close eye on your social media. That could be why they don't want to create havoc for you in the present moment. They don't want to create drama. But it's like a convenient excuse, I feel like. I'm severing ties with a karmic partner. So even if they are joining you in a karmic situation or in a, a relationship cycle, they're saying that that's not in the way for them. Even though it's still an obstacle for them, they're saying, I'm severing ties. I never meant to hurt you. It wasn't you. It was me. And I know that I'm situating this karmic situation, but I don't want to hide this connection anymore. Back of deck says, I've been expanding my spiritual knowledge because of this situation, I feel like. I feel like you're a huge inspiration towards clarity. Maybe you are the inspiration that's gotten them to look into even the concept of soulmate, um, twin flame type of connections. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. The very last thought that this person had about pile three in the bowl regarding reunions. I missed the bowl. Seven of cups. The sun, they're sitting on the edge of the bowl there. We also have the king of wands. It's not that they don't have desires or plans towards further clarity. They do. They have plans towards further clarity, but the problem is, is that they're waiting for a moment of empowerment. And they sometimes feel like, again, there's a feeling about them holding on to what they would call delusions. They, they're worried that they're confused and that they're delusional about this situation, which only makes them feel more vulnerable about making a, de a decision and taking action towards you. They tell themselves that they're delusional. But that's just their perception of the situation. In the bowl for you today, pile three, we have A, U, O. They just said Alec Trebek for some reason, or Alex could be an important name. We have ING, action words. So actions speak louder than words. Action is required here. There's a to-do list with the clipboard as well. Um, and so the, these are requests from our guides. There's a sort of steps we have to take to be able to create our dreams into reality here. Rising above the situation to make a decision. We do have divine feminine energy with the empress energy in the bowl. So you represent that. We have opportunity. And being caught off guard, Cupid's arrow, but a lock. This almost gives me the sense of somebody seeing you from apart, afar, but not taking action. All right, pile number three. That's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. If it does, drop your comment below for your chance to win a reading with me. Be sure to hit your notification bell so that I can notify you if you're chosen the winner. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading. And that, re that link is below and gets updated daily. So keep checking back. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a great day.